Hey everyone, it's Michael, the founder of Telling Watch Company. Thanks for following our startup microbrand and for staying engaged as we get set to release our very first watch concept. What I'm going to be showing you today are the samples that we just received and that we feel are very close to being production ready. With only a few minor design changes we intend to make in the production phase. And at the end of the video, I'll show you what the final product will look like when it goes into production. Now for all you space and history enthusiasts, Jovian is what we've named our first watch concept and for good reason. It's because the watch is inspired by two robotic space probes, Pioneer 10 and Pioneer 11, that NASA launched roughly 50 years ago in March 1972 and April 1973 respectively. Pioneer 10 is regarded as NASA's first mission to the outer planets and it achieved a series of firsts perhaps unmatched by any other robotic spacecraft in the space era while paving the way for future deep space missions. Before Voyager 1 came along and claimed the most distant title in 1998, Pioneer 10 was the most distant human-made object in space for more than 25 years, having crossed the asteroid belt, the orbit of Jupiter, and eventually the orbit of Pluto. Hence the name of the watch Jovian, which means of or related to Jupiter. Pioneer 11 shared the same design as Pioneer 10 and became the first mission to explore Saturn and the second spacecraft in humanity's early reconnaissance of the outer solar system. Now with that little bit of context, let's get into the watch because I'm super excited to show you the samples. First off, the watch will be offered in two different case colors, one having more of a traditional stainless steel look and the other taking on more of a sportier and darker appearance. There are subtle variations between the dials of the two watches, but both share a 43 millimeter steel case, 100 meters of water resistance, a screw down crown for added water protection, and they'll come with a choice of a very soft, high quality leather band. Internally, the watch is powered by Salida's SW200, a popular top-class Swiss movement with a power reserve of 38 hours. And design-wise, the watch has a slightly domed sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating, so visibility to the dial will be excellent, even in challenging situations like when there's considerable sun glare. The face of the watch features a concave ring, which provides some distinction, but also helps draw your attention to the inner part of the dial, where a lot of the inspiration from the design of Pioneer 10 and 11 are drawn from. Now you can read more about the design inspiration on our Kickstarter page, but suffice it to say, we've obsessed over every element of the watch to do Pioneer 10 and 11 justice as they rightfully deserve. The hour, minute, and second hands, for example, each nod to some aspect of the spacecraft's design. And looking at the back of the watch, we wanted to use the case back to reflect Pioneer 10's crowning achievement. Both space and history buffs will appreciate this. Upon close-up examination, you'll notice that the image is of Pioneer 10's approach and trajectory around Jupiter. Also, the case back indicates Pioneer 10's launch date from Cape Canaveral, Florida, March 2nd, 1972. And what's really nice about this watch, folks, is that it's like carrying a piece of history with you on your wrist. It's truly one of a kind, distinctive, it tells an amazing story, and it's certainly a conversation starter. The best part is that you'll know where the inspiration for the watch came from and can take pleasure in sharing that bit of insider information with others. Now for the changes we plan to make to the samples. First, to make the hour and minutes hand more functional, we've added blue loom for better visibility in darker conditions. Additionally, loom has been applied to all of the alternating indices on the silver case watch and to all the numerals and indices on the black case watch. It's a subtle difference that's, that was intended to distinguish between the two watches. But we've noticed that the indices with the loom fill simply look better, even in normal light conditions. So we've made the decision to fill the indices on the silver case watch with loom fill when it goes to production. But the numerals on the silver case watch will still remain gray in contrast to the black case watch. Second, you'll notice that the dial has a bit of texture to it. The texture is meant to reflect the asteroid belt that Pioneer 10 is credited for having navigated, the very first spacecraft ever to do so in fact. However, the texture has more of a shiny metallic look than we intended, and so when it goes to production, we'll modify that to take on more of a rocky, rough, and matte-like finish. Third, the small gold marker on the lower part of the seconds hand is a nod to Pioneer 10 and 11's magnetometer, which measured magnetic fields in space and in the vicinity of the planets they flew near. Scientists have learned a ton of information about Jupiter, Saturn, and other planets as a result. We intend to move that marker down a little lower on the seconds hand as we feel it's more accurately depicting the magnetometer and simply renders better on the watch. Fourth, the telling logo, the magnetometer, and the antenna-like fixture on the upper end of the seconds hand will appear a little smaller on the production watch than on a sample because we feel that this will put them in better proportion with the other elements of the dial. And finally, on the case back, 
we'll be making some subtle changes to the font and potentially to the surface so that the image of Pioneer 10's trajectory around Jupiter renders a little clearer than on the sample, which our fans will appreciate. Now here's a look at the latest revised concept drawings, which are closer to what the watch is being produced will resemble, taking into account the few changes I mentioned. And that should just about do it this time around. Don't forget to check out more details about the watch and its inspiration on the Kickstarter page. This is being released as a very limited edition, so get in early on it. You won't want to miss it. Thanks again for checking us out, and don't forget to tell all your friends about Telling Watch. Talk to you soon.